Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News with the Coronavirus Update Tuesday, March 17th, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. As the numbers increase worldwide and the death rate increases due to lack of testing, this should be much lower. Governor Cuomo just had an excellent uh, interview this morning. He did a uh, press briefing. And he reiterated that New York City will not be quarantined. It cannot happen legally. It will not happen. So conspiracy theories aside, there will be no quarantines in major cities, regardless of what anyone is telling you. It's just not going to happen, especially with the amount of guns purchased just yesterday alone. The Dow is recovering nicely, but it's anyone's guess how long that will last. It's already down, well, to 1987 levels. Coronavirus is proving we need more resilient supply chains. This is also being glommed on by the conspiracy theorists, driving panic buying. Now, the supply chain that they're talking about here is the one in China, which is the automotive, industrial, and heavy machinery sector, consumer goods, you know, the plastic crap that's at Walmart, and high-tech semiconductors mostly, as well as life sciences, including medical supplies. Not food. Our food doesn't really come from China, by the way. There's plenty of food in the country, regardless of what anyone's telling you. Not only that, there are things being implemented to stop people from panic buying. UK supermarkets are taking steps to prevent panic buying. There's limited in the US, they're limiting the numbers of things you can buy. The latest subject of the coronavirus related panic buying is maple syrup, of all things, which, by the way, does not cure coronavirus. Now, the Baltimore area grocers are saying they just need time to restock as well as every other city worldwide. And as producers continue to produce, now there's plenty of food in the country. Plenty. The aisles and aisles of empty store shelves give the appearance that the United States improbably and alarmingly is running out of food. But that can't be further from the truth. The biggest retailers, dairy farmers, and meat producers say that's not true. The food supply chain remains intact. It's even ramped up to meet the unprecedented stockpiling by the sheep, who probably won't even eat anything, especially the toilet paper that they have, because you can't eat toilet paper, by the way. So, the stores are getting stocked every day across the country, including Costco. Transportation is functioning. Our suppliers are working around the clock, and the flow of goods is strong. The National Chicken Council said it's not seeing any disruptions in the production and noted there were ample surplus supplies of chicken in cold storage, totaling more than 950 million pounds, according to government data. But this, the fear is palpable. The more empty shelves people see, the more panic buying ensues. The more food is out of stock. Orders for hot dogs at Walmart and Costco increased by 300% which is going to increase the death rate, not from coronavirus by 300%, but from hot dog ingestion. Buy healthy foods, guys. This is a time when you need to boost your immune system, which is why we implore you to grow your own food. Learn how to start seed sprouting. David Dubine has a great video on seed sprouting and how you can be self-reliant during supply chain disruptions when all the sheep are buying up all the toilet paper and pasta, and you can't even make gnocchis. Keep calm, folks, and wash your hands. Distance yourself. Keep the elderly and sick safe. Stay home and read a book. And don't believe the conspiracies. Go with your gut. If you want to hoard something, how about silver? It's the lowest it's been in a very long time, and it's about to skyrocket. You want to hoard something? There it goes, up 10 cents. Do it now. We love you. Be safe. That's boom.